ordinal numbers. Friends, today in this video, we will learn about ordinal numbers. Children, look, today there is a race being held in the jungle. All the animals participating in this race are standing by the pond. Can you tell how many animals are participating in this race? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. A total of 10 animals are participating in this race and Bhalu uncle is playing the role of the referee. Look, all the animals are standing at the starting line. Where the mouse is on the first position and his friend Toto is on the second position. On the third position is the duck and look, the rabbit is looking so confident on the fourth position. Hey, what is this? The cat standing on the fifth position looks scared of the dog at the sixth position. On the seventh position, there is the fox. Horse on the eighth. And who is here on the ninth position? So tall. Hey, this is the camel. And standing at last, on the tenth position, is the elephant. They are all set for the race. Now Bhalu uncle has indicated that the race has begun. One, two, three and start. All the animals have started running. The one who reaches the finish line first will win the race. Look children. Currently, the rabbit is running at the first position. The horse at the second position. Behind him at the third position is the fox. And the rat is running at the fourth position. At the fifth is the cat and right after her, the dog is running at the sixth position. At the seventh position is the camel. At the eighth position is the duck. At the ninth position is the elephant. And at the 10th position is running the tortoise. Hey, what is this? The horse has overtaken the rabbit. Now the horse is running at the first position. Who is at the last position? Oh, that's the elephant. Let's see. The elephant looks very tired. This race is becoming very interesting. All the animals are quite close to the finishing line. The one who crosses it first will be declared the winner. But who will cross it first? It seems we will get the result of this race soon. Oh wow! The rabbit has touched the finishing line at the first position. And he is declared the winner of this race. After rabbit at the second position is the horse and the third is the fox. At the fourth position is the dog, after him rat and at the sixth position is the cat. The camel is at the seventh position and behind him is the duck. At the ninth position is the elephant and at the last position is the tortoise. Now the first, second and third place winners will be awarded a trophy. And look! Bhalu uncle is giving trophies to these three winners. Did you see that? The rabbit is so happy as he has got the biggest trophy. Horse and fox are also very happy on getting the trophy. We really enjoyed this race today. So if you notice, to state who won which position or in the beginning where each one stood, we have used first, second, third, etc. numbers for the animals. These are all the ordinal numbers. They are used in a line or order or are used 
to tell the position of something children today with the help of this race we observe the use of ordinal numbers in the next video we will learn ordinal numbers a little better through examples children in this video we will understand more about ordinal numbers denoting the sequence of things with the help of some interesting examples look here bubbly some colors are given here can you tell at what position is green this is very easy 1 2 3 Here green is at position number 3. Look bubbly, we don't have to count the colors here. We have to tell the position of the colors. Let's observe. At the first position is the red color, at the second position is the yellow color. Green is at the third position and at the fourth position is purple color. Do you mean to say that we have to use terms such as first second third fourth to tell the position of color green yes bubbly bunny ask me more this is fun come on let us see few more examples look bubbly there are some vegetables kept in a row Which vegetable is at the fourth position? Here first of all is cabbage. At the second position is tomato, at the third position is pumpkin, and at the fourth position is here brinjal. Yes, but usually we count objects starting from the left. In that case at the first position is capsicum at the second position brinjal at the third position is pumpkin and at the fourth position is tomato Yes now you are right Come now let us look at the third example Look here bubbly There are some fruits given here Can you tell how many fruits are there in total Look here we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 That means there are 6 fruits in total Well then bubbly now tell me which fruit is the last in the row This is very simple Look bunny we have to count the order of fruits from the left At the first position is cherry, at the second position banana, at the third position mango, at the fourth position strawberry, at the fifth position guava and finally at the sixth position is the orange. Bli, you are absolutely right. Now tell me how many fruits are kept before guava? I have to tell the number of fruits kept before the guava let's start before guava there are 1 2 3 and 4 fruits well done bubbly thank you for teaching me this bunny okay bubbly now i will leave i too will leave children today with the help of some examples We understood the ordinal numbers depicting the order of objects. In the next video, we will learn how to correct the mistakes we tend to make while representing the ordinal numbers. children today we will look at examples based on 
ordinal numbers. Bubbly, can you tell me the position of the yellow crayon? Look, Bunny. One, two, three. The yellow crayon is at the third place. Look, Bubbly. There are a total of six crayons here. When we need to know the position of something, we don't have to count them. I did not understand, Bunny. Okay, let me explain. Look here. The red crayon is at the first place. Blue crayon at the second place. Yellow crayon at the third place. Green crayon at the fourth place. At the fifth place is the pink crayon. And at the sixth place is the orange crayon. This is why, in order to depict the order of crayons, we will give the first position to red crayon, second to the blue crayon, third to yellow crayon, fourth to green crayon, fifth to pink crayon, and sixth position to orange crayon. Means that if we want to count objects, we have to say one, two, three. Got it. And if we have to tell the position or place of objects in the line, then we have to say first, second, third ordinal numbers. Then here the yellow crayon is at the third position. And at the end is the orange crayon. Absolutely right, Bubbly. Ordinal numbers depict the right position or order of anything. Bunny, it was very nice to talk to you. Now I shall leave. Okay, I too shall leave. Children, today we learnt how to tell the position of objects through ordinal numbers. In the next video, we will learn to count in bundle of 10. of length. Hey Mintu, why do you look so worried? Look at this, brother. I made this special birthday card for my friend, but it is not fitting into the envelope. Let me see. Mintu, I will measure the envelope with my hand span and it is one span long and your birthday card is one and two hand spans long. Oh, this envelope is smaller than my card. Mintu, wait. I have a bigger envelope. I will give it to you. Here. Yes, Chintu. Seems like my card will fit into this one. How can you say that? Can you tell the approximate length of this envelope? Hmm. This envelope is as big as my card. Then, its lengths would be two hand spans approximately. That's right. Now put your card in this envelope, okay? This is of the same size as your card. That is, the length of this card is two hand spans. Wow! This envelope is of the correct size. Tell me, can we estimate the length of everything like this? Yes, kids. We can estimate the length of everything in this way. So today, we will use our body parts and other small things to determine the estimated length of objects. Do you know, Mintu? When I went to my grandfather's house during the holidays, he told me that 
people during the old times used certain body parts to determine the length of objects people used estimated measures of everything during those times how's that those days people used the length of palm that is hand span length of hand that is cubit and length of foot that is foot span as units of measurement of length mintu some people use these units even today to estimate the length then can i find the length of this window using my palm to measure it yes mintu the distance between the tip of one's thumb to the tip of the pinky finger is called a hand span so mintu you can use hand span to find the length of the window do you want to try it this is one hand span long and now i will place the left hand touching the right hand that makes two hand spans now i lift the right hand and place it forward touching the left hand this is three spans long now i will repeat the process till i reach the end of the window like this the length of the window is six spans of my palm well done mintu now tell me what is the estimated length of this table this table looks longer than the window the length of the window is 6 spans of my hand so this table must be approximately 12 hand spans long mintu now try to measure the length of this pencil with your palm the length of this pencil is equal to 1 hand span yes mintu now consider this pencil as a unit and now use this pencil to measure the length of the window 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 the length of this window is 6 pencils long yes so mintu like this we can consider the measure of a smaller object as a unit to estimate the length of a big object wow brother this is really interesting now considering this rubber a unit of measuring the length determine the length of this paper bag okay hmm to measure the bag's length place the rubber at one end of the bag so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 5 the length of this paper bag is 5 erasers mintu now i will teach you how to measure by making your arm length a unit yes fine look the distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger is called the length of the arm or the length of a cubit can we use it to measure this sofa yes look this is one arm's length this is two arms three arms this is four arms length so the length of this sofa is equal to four cubits wow brother you even measured the sofa wow <laughs> let's go to eat food now mintu then i will teach you to measure using your feet as unit of length okay friends today you learned that using your body parts or small things you can estimate the length of objects 
In the next video, we will learn about some more units of estimating length. Estimation of length. Friends, in the previous video, we learned about using your hand span, cubit, and small things as the unit of length measurement for measuring the length of an item. Today, along with Chintu and Mintu, we will use other parts of our body to estimate the length of objects. Brother, we have already eaten. Hmm, you were going to teach me to determine length of objects by using our feet as unit of measurement, weren't you? Yes, come, I will teach you. Mindu, you know we can measure the length of anything with our foot span. How long is a foot span, brother? Please tell me. The length of the big toe of the foot to the heel of the foot is a measure of foot span. Okay, I got it. Brother, can I measure the length of our carpet by using my feet? Yes, you surely can. Please tell me how do I have to measure this carpet? Look, the length of this carpet is from here to here. Okay, so first of all, I will put my right foot on the carpet like this. So, this is the length of one foot span, right? Now, I will place the left foot in front of the right foot, slightly touching the right foot in front, like this. Then this would be the length of two foot span. Now I will raise my right leg and place it in front of my left leg. There is a length of three foot span. Right, brother? Now I walk through the length of the carpet. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is ten. The length of this carpet is as long as my ten feet. Okay, Mintu, now tell me what will be the length of the doormat that is placed there? If the length of the doormat placed near the door is half that of this carpet, then the approximate length of the mat should be equal to 5 foot span. Rightly said, Mintu. Now, let me show you a magic. Magic? Yes. Now I will measure this carpet with my feet. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hey, the length of this carpet is only eight feet. Brother, length of this carpet has been reduced by your magic. <laughs> Mintu, the carpet did not shrink. Look carefully. My feet are longer than yours and your feet are shorter than mine. Oh, that's how measurement of the same carpet came out differently. Yes, Mintu, because everyone's body parts vary in size. So everybody gets different measurements. Yes, now I understand that hand span Cubit and foot span, these units are not always the same. 
yes and always keep in mind that these units are not correct because everyone's measurements are different brother today i had so much fun i will teach this to my friends too <laughs> friends in this video we learn to measure the length of things using some other parts of our body and learned that the length of every human body is not equal in the next video we will learn interesting things related to the correct measurement of length Hello friends Today we will learn about measurement of things with different units of measurement of length Good morning children Good morning sir Children today I will teach you to measure the length of things by using the length of fingers as a unit of measurement So first of all I will measure the length of this chalk This chalk is shorter than one hand span So here we will take a unit smaller than a hand span to measure the chalk Why not use our fingers to measure it then the length of this chalk will be 1 2 3 and 4 fingers Children did you understand yes, yes sir now let's do an activity mintu chotu and golu give me your pencils come on yes, yes sir here they are mintu come here measure these three pencils with your fingers the first pencil is equal to the length of my four fingers The second is four plus two, that is six fingers long, and the third pencil is equal to four plus four eight fingers long. Very good, Mintu. Now tell me which among the three is the longest pencil? Hmm. Among these three, this is the longest pencil. Now look at the length of this big scale. It is equal to the length of two times my hand span. Can you determine the length of the smaller scale without measuring? Sir, the smaller scale seems to be of half the length of the bigger scale. Then the length of the smaller scale should be equal to your one hand span. Now look at the length of this table. It is equal to 3 cubits of my arm. Mintu now you tell me how long is this table when you measure it with your arm? The length of this table is 1 2 3 4 cubit of my arm. That's right. Can you tell me why this happened? Yes sir. because the length of my arm is shorter than the length of your arm well done mintu now i will give you all a homework which you have to complete for tomorrow's class the homework is written on the board you all should copy it in your notebook okay sir hope you had fun friends today we learnt about measurement of things with different units of measurement of length in the next video we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length
friends today in this video we will see some interesting examples of measuring different things using different units of measurement of length hey mintu what are you doing i am doing the homework of my school so what homework were you given sir has asked me to measure the length of the room for homework mintu How will you measure the length of the room from here till here with my foot length See if I measure the length of the room with my feet then the length of the room is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 
using your arm length as a unit. Hmm. Then the length of this table is one, two, three, and four. The length is four cubit length of my arm. No go to. While measuring the length of the table, you have left some space between the two arm lengths. In this way, you can never get the measurement correct. Yes, okay. Now I have understood. I will measure it again. It would be one, two, three, four, and five. The length of this table is five arm length. Yes, now the answer is correct. Thank you, Mintu. Yes. Then always keep in mind while measuring the length of any object, always measure from one end to another end of the object. Yes, I will keep it in mind. And also make sure to remember that while measuring the length, no space should be left between the units. Yes, I will remember that too. Okay then. Let us go and play now. Okay, let's go. Yes, so friends, today we learnt some interesting facts about measurement of length. In the next chapter, that is how many peaks, we will learn to count and depict information. See you. Thank you.